This is a sneaker that took nearly 30 years to get here. This legendary sneaker is so popular it has managed to secure a release every year on the Jordan holiday calendar which is prime real estate. Are these worth the buy? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm Akiko and you're watching a review of the show that talks about shoes, apparel, and tech. Have you seen my previous video? If you haven't, watch it here. In this video, we'll be having a legendary silhouette which also happens to be Jordan's favorite sneaker model. Did you know the Cherries was actually first seen on MJ back in 1995 after he officially came out of retirement and returned to the Bulls in March and led them to three more championships in the following years. But first, our sponsor. This video is sponsored to you by our friends over at TDEVS, Mr. Island. Our totally devoted, specialized services incorporated, established on May 2003. They emphasize on special projects such as one-time cleaning, exterior interior glass cleaning, facade and carpet cleaning, disinfecting, stripping, sealing and waxing of floors, ground, and garden lawn maintenance, and this industrial plant cleaning, marble treatment and crystallization, comfort room cleaning, and housekeeping training. You can follow their Facebook page, TDEVS, and they have a branch here in Manila and Davao. For more information about this, click the link in the description below. Thank you for entrusting me your first Jordan 11 pair for this video. If you want to know more about my program and participate, follow my Facebook page a review link in the description below. Let me now share with you the Jordan 11 Varsity Red aka Cherry. The shoe was released on December 10, 2022, retailing at 225 US dollars or in Philippine peso 11,895 in adult sizes, but they did also drop in kids and baby sizes too. Did you know that these actually restocked last Feb 21? Awesome, right? Since the early mock up of the two toned sneaker emerged, spectators were skeptical about the sneaker, but the design's backstory might have persuaded some into buying this pair. What do you think about the Cherry 11s? Do you think that these should have been with the original Jordan 11 lineup? Comment below. This classic Air Jordan 11 borrows the color blocking of the iconic Concord colorway and the instant recognizable Chicago Bulls red on the patent leather, mudguard, the collar, the outsole, the jumpman on the heel, and the embroidered strips on the tongue. From there, you got the familiar white leather and ballistic mesh combo upper and the icy outsoles on the bottom. Stirring from the OG colorway of the 11 releases the results and the reaction from the community is often mixed. Don't get me wrong, they do always sell out. But this leaves us the question, would MJ have worn these back in 95 and 96? Comment below. But for me, no doubt, it actually makes me wonder why this wasn't part of the OG rotation in the first place. Without further ado, let's have a close-up look of the pair. So now we have the box of the Jordan 11 Cherry. It says here Jordan Air, so we have the standard Jordan 11 box. And over here, if you look closely, we can read that it's a size 12. This is the Air Jordan 11 Retro, White, Varsity, Red, Black. Blanche, Noir, and Varsity Rogue. This is a UK 11, BR44, CM30, and Euro 46. The code of the shoe is CT8012116. And this is the QR code if you want to scan your shoe. So let's look at the box first. We have here Nike Air. Let's look at the size of the box. We also have another Nike Air here. Both, face both sides here. Lengthwise, it's just black. And over here, the back of the box, this is what it says. We have Nike, Swoosh, Aerosol, and Jumpman. And we have this logo, which is found on the top area. And on the opposite side, we have this. There. So now, let's open the shoe. This is what it looks like there. Let's put this aside. And now we have the cherries. So funny story, this was actually brought to me by my friend over at T-Devs. He was actually in Thailand at the time. And then he bought this from Atmos. Hence the blue paper bag that you saw earlier. 
Okay, there. Let's look at the sides of the shoe. So it's patterned, so it's supposed to be shiny. There. This is the ballistic mesh right here, found on all the 11s. We have here this right here on the tongue, on the middle part of the tongue. We have the icy outsoles there. And yes, he actually cleaned this, but I actually cleaned it a lot more when I got it here at home. So I'll be having a sneaker cleaning video on a different pair very soon. Here we have the Jumpman. We have the D23 on the back. We also have this right here on the back of the tongue. It says here, Quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. There. So let's remove this here and let's look at the insole. So this is the insole of the 11s. Yeah. It says here AJ11 QF8HMS. 1, 2, K, and then this is R for the right. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be R because this is found on the left shoe, but it says here R backwards, and it says here 12, K. Let's see if the other one actually says 11 or L. There. This is what the old insoles of the Air Jordan 1 looked like before. It has this part right here. So now let's look at the other one. Same thing right here. So one key difference that you normally find on Jordan 11s back then is actually the good quality control. But when you look at this, you can actually see some excessive glue stains right here. Some were actually here, but I actually removed it. There. This is the icy outsole. This is one of the best parts from the Jordan 11, in my opinion. The jump man here. Let's place it like this, so you have an idea on what it looks like. There. And this is the heel area, the 23. They're kind of not same. This is one issue of the quality control that I've been talking about. And let's look at the insole of this. Let's have it pulled. There. Forgot to get this out. Sorry. Okay, so we have the same thing right here. There. We have this jump man here. And it does not say L. It also says R. There. You can see it and it has this one right here. So let me know if you know what this means, the C. There. Side to side comparison. There. On high tops, these have been the truest color blocking of the Chicago Bulls red amongst the previous red Jordan 11 colorways. What do you think could have been better besides the quality control of the shoe? Did I miss anything? Comment below. Let's now have a quick montage of the shoe. So that's pretty much about it. Thank you guys for watching my take of the Jordan 11 Varsity Red aka Cherry. 
and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't and follow my socials. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help my channel on the YouTube algorithm. Style well, play well, and wear your sneakers.